When you're walking in authority and power, you have a frame of mind. You believe at that moment all things are possible. You believe at that moment that the authority and the power of the Almighty is operating in you. But when you get into that state of weakness, you have a change of mind. The Bible tells us that Yeshua is sitting at the right hand, interceding on our behalf. We've got the Holy Spirit interceding on our behalf. We've got Messiah interceding on our behalf. And yet we feel that we need mortal men to intercede on our behalf. Some of us really believe we trust the Almighty, but our actions demonstrate we don't. Our feelings dictate to us how we operate. We say we walk by faith and not by sight, but our actions show we spend more time in our sight than we do in our faith. How did we get there? Why are we there? And what are we going to do about it? Because either you've been set free or you haven't. Either you've been empowered or you haven't. Either he's given you his spirit or, or he hasn't. How you operate is going to be based on your frame of mind. Your frame of mind is going to be dictated by what's going on around you versus what's supposed to be happening in you. What's supposed to be happening in you is that we're supposed to be building up our faith. We're supposed to be adding to our faith. We're supposed to be growing stronger and stronger from grace to grace, from faith to faith. We're supposed to be maturing instead of being like children. Just like the Hebrew writer says, by this time you ought to be teachers, but you need somebody to teach you all over again the basic stuff. Now, I'm not screaming at you. I'm just saying somehow we've got to get a breakthrough so that we don't do, as they say, take one step forward and three steps backwards, where we operate in power and then go back to that old man 